But in order to harness them, all that is necessary is to create a grid around them. So when we have 162, what happens to our physical universe? Then the complete grid matrix of density is held intact. And what does that mean? That means that the grid is there for everyone to share because the elements support the matter formation of that reality. So what will that mean, though, to our physical universe? What that we're stepped up a whole frequency. Uh -huh. So to a mathematician or a scientist, this means that without using metaphors in the metaphysical world, uh -huh. we've established a grid that supports a brand new reality. And what will that reality, do you have any ideas what that reality will look like? Well, there's many people now that are bridging this uh -huh. into so-called fourth dimensional experiences using consciousness as the interpreter for creating the understanding of that. Mm -hmm. So the grid is already created on some level of... All things exist simultaneously. And there are people that are able to go to that level of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And integrate it into this. The, and the bleed-throughs are occurring all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, in our lifetime, all we hear about is interdimensional reality. That's right. Channeling UFOs, or angels, or... Near death experience, right? Out of body experience, mm -hmm. right. or integration of the physical in dimensional gateways, mm -hmm. which seem to be, you know, science fiction at one level. So let's bring this all back.